Hi guys. So with the new M Creator update, um, it kind of broke some things with the mod I'm currently working on, and um, especially things with the uh, ranged items. They changed how they work. So now the item itself is actually just an item, and uh, the projectile is what you uh, link to that item to make it a projectile item. So, with this uh, new update, I have these projectile elements now. And uh, so, a few things got uh, broken, and uh, here's the new way things work now. So, with the advanced properties, it's gonna, it's gonna, you can check this and it'll uh, become a ranged item and so you choose the projectile to go with it I have this one selected for the shotgun projectile and so with this update I was kind of confused at first where um, the item for ammo box was if you remember that and so it's actually this this is where you actually select your item to be used so it'd be the shotgun shell so I'd select that so if if you're not using a custom model this will actually show up as your bullet this texture that you uh, selected here it'll look like it's shooting shotgun shells out of the shotgun which we don't want so how to get around that is you actually need to make a custom model I'm actually going to pull up block bench right now. This is how I got around this. So as you can see, we have one cube right here. This is a Java entity. So it'll need to be the .java file. But um, so yeah, just a cube. And then important, you need, you need just a texture that's just transparent and just map it to that and save that texture, that transparent texture. So then you'd want to export as the Java entity there and then you can go to resources, 3D models, import your Java 3D model. Then on the projectile you select whatever you want that to be so now my bullets are invisible because you can't see bullets when they're uh, flying in the air. And also you uh, select the uh, texture here and all of that. So that's how you get those to work. Uh, another thing, the um, guns, If so when you use these guns, it'll actually have the item swing animation if you select no animation, which is pretty annoying, but um, here's a quick fix to that as well. Open mod element in the code editor shotgun item java you want to get the item java open that up and you want to go down to about right here and you'll find the word success right here next to entity get item in hand just select that word success press F it'll change to fail but you want to get rid of this little snippet right here just go ahead and delete that so you want fail and then right next to entity just like this otherwise it won't work so then you just hit X close and save and lock the code uh, if you need to get back in there you can unlock the code but it, uh, you'll have to do that uh, whole uh, success fail thing again so make sure that you have all the correct settings in your uh, things here so another thing with this update, um, so it seems that without the use of procedures, you will have to use um, an ammo for your projectile item to work. So I've actually found a way around this using procedures. So with my sword here, I have this sword, it has a custom 3D model, it doesn't look like this. But, so, 
I originally made this arranged item back in the last version of M Creator, but the new update broke it. So it had a when you right clicked, it would shoot out a lightning bolt. It would strike lightning where the projectile landed. So it was like um like a secondary ability for the sword. It's, it still does a ton of damage, but. It wouldn't use any ammo, so this update broke that. So now, um, what I'm having to do is so you so you, when you click this, you enable the um, ranged item, but you actually want to disable that for an item like this, and you just kind of want to use the triggers. So you want to use the win right clicked procedure. So let's go into what we have here. It's a little long here, but I'll like run you through it. So in the world procedures, we want to shoot. In projectile procedures, you get arrow type. And you um, get your projectile, your custom projectile. And you can set the damage, knockback, piercing. Um... Oh, I guess you could select the entity type that shoots it. I guess you could set that to your player, but I don't... I didn't use that. Um, and... Yeah, so... From X, Y, and Z, so your current position, I, I uh, used some of the math blocks to kind of offset this, because when you spawn it from the world, if your player is, um, if your player is moving, especially, you run the risk of uh, hitting yourself with your own projectile. So I offset it because the uh, projectile itself is invisible. It doesn't really matter that you really see it. You can set these lower, but like this is just to make sure I don't blow myself up with lightning. So it'll um, it'll spawn the projectile four blocks above the player and two blocks in front. I'm pretty sure Z is forward with the, okay, so this is important right here. So this is how you get it to actually go where you're looking. With direction, X value, look angle vector of event target entity, Y angle, Z angle. These are really important. You can find these in the entity data yeah, the entity data. And I just set my speed up really high. That's just the speed of the uh, projectile. And then mine has a cooldown right here. So it's 100 ticks. And what you could also do, so item projectiles. Um, in the actions. You can actually deal one damage. So every time you use this. Every time you right click, it'll deal one damage to your item. I think I'll just set it to that. And now I'm just going to save the mod element. And we'll go into survival mode and I'll show you how it works. Alright, now we're in the game. Um, let me set the time today real quick. Alright, so first of all, I'm just going to show you the guns real quick. So. I didn't edit the revolver's su uh, success thing yet, but I did the shotgun. I did the uh, shotgun, so let me grab uh, some shotgun shells as well to show you how it works. So when I try and use the revolver, you can see the animation is the swing animation, even though it's set to no animation. So I'm going to switch to the shotgun and see the difference. Doesn't move. Now the range is pretty terrible with the shotgun, but it does a lot of damage. I'm going to work on making it shoot multiple projectiles. I think that would be pretty cool. So yeah. Alright, so let me go game mode survival. All right. Oh, dang.
All right. Okay, so as you can see, it doesn't shoot, no bullets. It does shoot. Actually, when you when you're in creative, there's no animation at all, but when you're in survival, it kind of like pulls it down, and it's kind of cool actually cuz it's kind of like it has some recoil. So, it's kind of like a bonus. All right. So now <clears throat> to the sword with the this is the one with the secondary ability. So as you can see, I'm going to get rid of all other items, no ammo, and you can shoot the uh, projectile that spawns in the lightning. Again, I'm in survival mode and I have no ammo. And this is working. You could apply this to about anything. This is just, um... Ooh, I've missed them. There we go. So yeah, it's pretty cool. You can uh, aim it anywhere you want. Okay, well it did not hit the well. Yeah, <laughs> you kind of have to aim down with it, but yeah, it's pretty cool. That's about it for my tutorial on how to make a ranged item with no ammo requirement. Uh, if you enjoyed this video or if it helped you out in your mod, um, please like the video and subscribe. Anyways, that's about it.